Hi, Rob Smith here, Solutions Engineer from M2 Technologies, here to bring you a tech tip working with configuration files in EdgeCam. So what do configuration files do? What's their purpose? Well, configuration files drive the appearance of the interface. What toolbars are currently active and visible? What buttons are on those toolbars? Where are they located? Where, what windows are visible and where are they docked? All that stuff is driven by configuration files. Now I can switch configurations manually. If we go to the options menu, down at the bottom there's a flyout called profiles. Inside there you'll see the different profiles available broken up by discipline. Inside of the profiles themselves are the configuration files. Right now the layout you're looking at is uh, the default config for the mill profile. That's what I loaded. If I select another one, if I go to the turn profile and select the default configuration under turn, it's going to change my interface. Subtly in this case, one of the things that changed was on the solids toolbar there's a different array of commands available to me. Turn feature, for example, wasn't there on the default configuration for the mill profile. Now, as I'm making changes to my interface, moving toolbars around, making them invisible, moving windows, redocking them, these settings are getting saved. If I close Edge Cam right now and reopen it, the layout will be as I left it. It's saving it to a configuration called user config. You don't see it in the profiles menu, it's located in a different place, but it's kind of a, a temporary location. As I'm making changes, it's saving there so that the interface is the same when I reopen. But if I load another profile, load another configuration, those changes will be lost. EdgeCam will also switch profiles, switch configurations automatically when I go to manufacturing mode and select a discipline. If I select mill or turn, it will go into the mill or turn profile and load the user configuration from that profile. So if I want changes to be more permanent, I want to be able to arrange the interfaces I see fit and be able to load that configuration again and see my changes present, I need to either create a new configuration or save my changes to an existing configuration. I'm going to right click again up in the top menu, but instead of going to the profiles flyout, I'm going to go to the customize menu. It's going to bring up the customize dialog, which has a number of options that we'll, we'll look at. What I want to point you to is the configurations tab. On the configurations tab, I see a listing here, different folders, the folders being the profiles that I find in my profiles menu, and inside of those profile folders are the configurations themselves. On the right side here, you see I have the ability to create configurations, update, and delete configurations. If I create one right now, what it will do is take the settings that are currently on my screen, basically the user config that I have open right now, and it's going to save it to this new configuration. What profile it puts it in depends on what profile I have active right now. Right now I'm in the turn profile. You can see there's a check mark next to that folder. So it placed my new configuration in that profile. So now if I load a different profile or if EdgeCam loads a different profile because I switched disciplines, I can still go back to the profile I created and see everything as I left it. If I want to make further changes to that custom configuration, say removing a button from a toolbar, if I switch away again, those settings will be lost. Even though I'm in a custom configuration right now, it's only going to save changes I make to it if I go back into the Configurations tab in the Customize dialog, select that configuration file, and update it. 
essentially saving over that configuration. Using configurations that you've created on other machines is straightforward. First thing I'm going to do is go to the options menu and select file locations. Bring up my file locations dialog which tells me where EdgeCam is looking for and saving various file types. One of these locations is my profile folder. See it listed here and the locations that EdgeCam is set to uh, look for those profiles. One of these locations is in my user documents. Inside that folder I see a number of subdirectories that represent the profiles that I actually see in the profiles menu itself. Inside of these subdirectories I see .config files which are the configurations. So if I want to send this configuration to another machine so that another user can utilize it, it's as simple as copying this file to their profile folder on the new machine. Another thing that gets saved along with configurations is any custom toolbars that you decide to make. Um, back inside my customized dialog here, I'm going to go to the Toolbars tab just to review real quick how do we make a toolbar. Uh, the Toolbars tab controls the visibility of the toolbars in this configuration. You see the ones that are checked or visible. But I can also use this new button on the right side to create a new blank toolbar. Nothing on it now. And I can drag commands onto that toolbar either by pulling them from other toolbars, which I can do with the customized dialog open, or go to the commands tab, track down the commands that I want, and drag them onto my new toolbar. And as long as I update my configuration, that toolbar will be present as well. And in this way we can not only customize our interface for a specific user, but maybe for an entire group, or maybe for uh, new programmers coming on board in a company. You want to encourage a, a specific workflow, a specific order of operations, create a, a toolbar um, that will be present in their uh, standard interface. If you don't want to create an entirely new configuration, but just one toolbar that you want to send to other machines or other users, uh, use the transfer tab in the customized dialog. There's a, a toolbar drop down here where I can find the name of that toolbar I created and I can save it to what becomes a dot commands file and on the other end you use this load button right next to it to browse to that dot commands file. Once it's loaded that toolbar will be present in the current configuration and you can save it on the other end. Finally, one thing to be aware of, as I mentioned, when I switch disciplines in manufacturing mode, or select a discipline in manufacturing mode, my configuration file gets changed automatically. I might not want that behavior. And that's what the generic profile is for. We've looked at the discipline profiles, which are the ones that EdgeCam will switch to as I change disciplines, but if I have a configuration loaded from the generic profile, it will not switch automatically. It will stay in that configuration. So if I create a custom configuration that I want to remain the same no matter what discipline I switch to, I would put that in my generic profile. And it will stay the same until I manually switch out. This was a review of some pretty fundamental knowledge, but um, I think it often gets overlooked and forgotten uh, even by advanced users. So I thought it would be a good refresher. And I hope it was useful to you. Thank you for your time.